آف دی کنٹراسٹ ان لذین آمن ہوا میں سوالحات آن دی کنٹریری دوز پیپل ہو بلیو اینڈ ڈو گڈ ڈیڈس کانت لہم جنات الفردو سے نوزل ہو فار دیم دی گارڈنز دے آر دے ہیو بین پرائڈ گارڈنز آف پیراڈائز شیل بی ریڈی فار دیئر ہاسپٹیلٹی خالدین فیحا ابائڈنگ دیئر ان فار ایور لا یمون انہا ہے والا دے ول نیور لائک ٹو بی ٹرانسفرڈ فرام دیئر ٹو اینی ادر پلیس اللہ کان البحر میں داد اللہ کل مات ربی پلیز نوٹ دی لاسٹ ٹو آیات آف سورت بنی اسرائیل ور اسٹارٹ ود کل قل اٹ اللہ عبد الرحمن ایم مات ڈو فلاح الاسماء الحسنا قل الحمد للہ اللہ لم یتخذ ولا دا ولم یق اللہ شریق الف الملک ولم یق اللہ ولی من الظلم کبیر ہو تکبیرہ دی گرینجر آف دی پرسن آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی ہز ہائی اسٹیشن ہز یونیکنیس ہز یونیٹی ٹو آیات دی لاسٹ ٹو آیات آف سورت بنی اسرائیل ویری ویری پروفاؤنڈ ان دی سیم وے دی لاسٹ ٹو آیات آف سورت کہف دے آلسو اسٹارٹ ود قل There are two quls in the end of Surah Bani Israel and two quls in the end of Surah Kahf. We are very well aware and familiar with four quls. Qul ya ayyul kafirun, qul huwa Allah wahad, qul a'udhu bi rabbil falak, qul a'udhu bi rabbil nar. But these are four another quls that you must remember. They are remember worthy. Now the grandeur of Allah's creation. قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ الْبَحْرُ مِدَادًا لِكَلِمَاتِ رَبِّي Say, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if the whole sea was to be used as an ink to write the words of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, my Lord, the sea will be exhausted before the words of Allah are exhausted. Although any other sea of the like might be brought for its help. Now what does it mean? Every creation of Allah is His word, kun. Everything He created by one word, kun. So every creation is a word of Allah. Can you count down and write down the, all the creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Even if the oceans are to be used as ink. And there's another ayah in the Quran of this, on the same subject. If all the trees on the earth are to be turned into pens, Karimat Allah will not be able to be exhausted and written. So this is to give you an impression of the grandeur of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now comes the last ayah and this is the practical tawheed. One tawheed is theoretical. Allah is alone. Nobody is equal to him. None is a partner with him. There's no associate with him. There's no associate in his attributes, etc., etc. All these th- th- things are theoretical. What's practical tawheed is you worship him and him and him alone. Obey him and him and him alone. You can obey others only where there's no disobedience to Allah. Your obedience, your worship should be 100% focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the practical tawheed. I have a book on this subject, tawheed Amali in Urdu. And this aspect of Tawheed is absolutely absent. Even those of our people, you know, who think that they are the Muwahideen and they are the Salafiyun and so on and so forth, they don't care about this Amali Tawheed. Now here is the Amali Tawheed. Last ayah of Surah Bani Israel, theoretical Tawheed. قُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي لَمْ يَتَّخِذْ وَلَدَى وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ شَرِيكٌ فِي الْمُلْكِ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ وَلِيٌّ مِّنَ الظُّلْ وَكَبِّرْ هُوَ تَكْبِيرًا And here, قُلْ Say, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ مِسْلُكُمْ Verily, I am also a mortal human like you. The only difference between you and me is يُوحَا إِلَيَّا وَحِي has come to me. Revelations have come to me. And what is the crux of the revelation? Annama ilahukum ilahu wahid. That your Lord is the only one Allah. One Lord, one God. No partner with Him. For man kaada yarju liqa rabbihi. So whosoever is hopeful 
and looking forward to meet his Lord. فَلْيَعْمَلْ صَالِحَا عَمَلًا صَالِحَا Now he has to do two things. He must do good deeds. Number one, وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا And he shouldn't associate in his obedience to Allah. Ibadah means obedience. Abd is slave. In obedience and worship of Allah, he should not associate anything else, anybody else. So this is the end of Surah Al-Kahf.